How's it going, everybody? It's Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, very snowy March 14th, and uh, I'm going to do a birthday video for myself. So, cheers to that. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at something I got myself a couple of days ago. Yeah, probably a week ago. I'm um, finally going to make it onto video, and it's the single cut. Thinking about the weather, uh, Coco Porter. Um, I love the name. Uh, I love the brewers. Uh, I love Porter styles. Uh, it's a big bottle. I can have a couple of glasses of it. And, you know, happy birthday to me. Uh, this is probably the worst weather I've ever seen on my birthday. It's usually, you know, spring's just usually creeping in, but not this year. Anyway, from Untapped, this is a 5.5% alcohol by volume with an IBU 26 Porter. So, seems a little toned down a little bit, you know, hopefully very drinkable. Uh, the description from um, a new wave of American Porter. Thinking hard about the weather combines the dry hop bite of a Porter with a double dose of intense cacao and gentle hints of vanilla. Sessionable, satisfying, and a perfect kiss of chocolate. And from the single cut website, it says very satisfying whether the weather uh, has you pondering the weather or to go out in the uh, snowshoes or galoshes. So let's see what this thing looks like. Mm. Totally. I cut my teeth on craft beer, uh, drinking whole lots of porters. I love the style. I love the versatility of the style. Um, I just dig it. You know what I mean? So look at this thing. Uh, it's a classic porter profile, really dark, uh, brown, blackish. There's, I don't even see any daylight around, you know, the... The sides of the glass do you know what i mean you can even though it's super dark you can tell it's really well carbonated even though i'm not getting much of a head here it is you know you can you can see it you know mm. yeah you get that kind of i wouldn't say a super like a dark chocolatey multi bite to it but you do get you know a nice dose of of roasted uh aromas and these chocolatey you know, not so much on the vanilla yet, but yeah, chocolatey with maybe like a thin vanilla aroma. It's cool. Mmm, it's making my mouth water. So, let's see how this thing tastes, huh? It's my, I believe this is my first time having it. Um, yeah. very good very clean very crisp um and it cuts right through there's no sort of overwhelming muddled hoppiness to it you get these it's a super thin and crisp uh, ale porter uh, and then it cuts with this a very nice little leading edge of vanilla with uh that leads into these roasted notes and again the it's like a, it's a thin uh, chocolate. Uh, I shouldn't say thin. It's not this overwhelming like chocolate syrup, um, you know, ungodly creation. It's just, it's just, it's there. It's a suggestion. It's kind of in the background, uh, but it just plays well with this porter style uh, beer. I love it. It's great. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I think with, you know, psychologically with the way the beer looks and with the aromas and, and the roasted nature of whatever, I think, you know, you can maybe convince yourself of some coffee notes, but I don't really think that's a thing. I think I'm just thinking of it, um, but it's good. Yeah, totally. Totally. 
say this is uh, say on the lighter bodied of the style beer. Uh, 5.5% seems to be right down the middle of the track. The IBUs are on point. Um, you know, this is a, what is this, a 22 ounce bottle. And, you know, this is going to be something that is going to be very easy to finish by myself. Oh, look at that. Bottled on uh, February 22nd. So this is only about three weeks old. I bought it. Probably when it was only two weeks old, a week and a half actually. Um, so I probably should have gotten on a video when I first bought it. Anyway, this is a little look at the single cut, thinking about the weather chocolate uh, porter. Uh, very enjoyable. I've been seeing single cut uh, brought back around the area. You know, I think their you know their motto is drink the beer fresh, and if it's not moving fast enough. They kind of pulled out of some of the market here in Buffalo because the beer was, wasn't moving fast enough to keep it fresh or as fresh as they wanted. So now I see them kind of around different areas again. They're back in consumers every once in a while. They're at the Village Beer Merchant. They're at um, Aurora uh, Beer Works. They're all over the place. So if you live in different parts of the town, um, brewed and bottled in Lewiston, I, I see them all over the place. So if no matter what part of town you're in, you should be able to find them. If you think you'd like to take a you know a look at their beers, it's awesome. So that's it for me, guys. Sorry, it's a little long-winded. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I really enjoy this beer, uh, and it's not going to be a hard little bomber to finish. You know, on my birthday. Cheers to me. So thanks for watching, um, and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see a specific beer. I'll go get it. Um, okay. All right. Until next time, guys. Cheers.